Hello and welcome to this top down engine tutorial. I'm Renault from Our Mountains and today we're going to have a look at the contents of the asset. Um, this video is a direct sequel to the how to install video. So here we have our project freshly installed into a brand new Unity 3D project. Today we're going to have a look at the, the contents. So um, I'm going to expand this. And as you can see, uh, in our assets folder, so our project, we had maybe a scenes folder before, uh, it created a top down engine folder for us. In it, we have a bunch of things. So at the top level, we have uh, the install instructions, license, the manifest that contains um, the dependencies of the project that we copied into our packages folder. We have a readme, well, I suggest you read it. it will point you at the right places to get information, where the documentation is, where the frequent, frequently asked questions, um, licensed stuff, and so on. And uh, the third, third party notices, so mostly uh, 2D extras from Unity. Uh, then we have a common folder. So if we get into it, um, here you have stuff that is being used throughout all the demos and that is really the core of the engine. That's where you will find uh, animations for button prompts, a few fonts, uh, physics materials, some prefabs that are really independent from the demo, so uh, such as the, uh, the button prompt. Then you have achievements into a resources folder. You have uh, the start screen and then of course you have the scripts and these are the heart of the engine, uh, especially the, the character part. That, that's where you'll find all the AI scripts, character abilities, so all the actions your characters can do. Um, the controller, of course, uh, stuff that handles damage, all the weapon system, and so on and so on. Uh, and then you have a bunch of sprites that are used throughout the asset, such as the icon, the prompt, uh, achievement icon, so stuff that really doesn't uh, impact only one demo but all of them. Um, then you have the demo folder so you'll have Grasslands, Koala, uh, a level selection system, the Loft, Minimal 2D, Minimal 3D and then you have a bunch of third-party stuff so most of it is more mountains uh, such as the inventory engine so that's all the systems that make you create items, store them, use them uh, the MM feedbacks library, so that's all the screen shakes and flashes and so on. So everything that that is going to give you juice to to your game, MM interface for everything UI and MM tools, which is a general library of tools I created that I use across all my assets and projects. Really uh, includes pretty much everything you could need for a project uh, goes from animation uh, helpers to automations, auto-rotate, uh, wiggles, stuff like that. So really helpers all across the board. Uh, feel free to use them in other projects as well. Uh, then we have the Nash nav mesh components, so that's an extension of, of Unity. And we have some tile map extras to do rule tiles and stuff like that. So. Um, that's pretty much it for the contents. I would strongly recommend you don't remove anything from that folder, uh, especially if you're new to Unity and are not sure exactly what to keep or not. The cool thing is if you don't use something in your build, it's not going to have any impact. So it's pretty much harmless, uh, doesn't increase the weight of your build or uh, impact performance. It's really just free. So if you leave it here, you are guaranteed uh, not to break anything. But if you really, really, for some reason, want to remove stuff, I would suggest only touching the demos folder um, because otherwise, chances are it's going to break something. Uh, if you know what you're doing, though, uh, feel free to remove and break and change everything. That's what the engine is for. I hope you learned something new today, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.